Hi CC Gen community, we are coming to you from Lesbos. Uh, you can even see Turkey is just over there. There are still 20 to 40 people arriving per week here on Lesbos. Most of them are from Afghanistan, Congo and um, Syria. 30% uh, of the population inside the camps are children. I'm heading to a meeting with, uh, with Lesbos Solidarity. They're an organization that was working on integration. Space is limited for them to do their work uh, as the laws and policies have been changing and uh, camps are becoming more formalized under the control of the government here. Hi CCHN, so I just finished my meeting with the Lesbos Solidarity. They run Mosaic. I got these two really cool bags. Uh, they're made by refugees from recycled material. They had established the only locally run camp, Tikpa Camp, uh, which has since been, been closed. I had the privilege of meeting with uh, humanitarian professionals and the camp management in Mavravuni Reception Center today. In fact, now at this point, they are even issuing passports in Mavruni Reception Center, which um, was really incredible to see, especially compared to some of the other reception centers we've seen along the migratory route. And we met with, um, with officials who are working in this space. Uh, Many of them uh, humanitarians who have been seconded to work with government colleagues as civil servants. So it was fascinating and it was really incredible to see the work that they've been doing, especially after the fire in, uh, in Moria in 2020. They are trying to balance both integration work, both facilitation of services, uh, but also understanding the real challenges that these really are populations on the move so how to effectively serve them the numbers of our arrival are slowing down um, they don't know what what to expect for spring it's uh, there's no there's no planning or uh, contingency planning who can predict what's going to happen the people with whom we talk are experienced professionals. They have good practices. They have learned experiences. Lesbos is a very small island. People know each other. The humanitarian practitioners, they all know each other. They've been working together for many years. They're trying to coordinate their action. It's not easy. We, we felt that they are ready for this critical reflection on their own work. Uh, so I think the timing of the CCHN and this listening tour was right. We're gonna be back in January to meet with them again and uh, to see how, uh, how we're gonna support them in the future.